If you're like me on Zoom all day long, talking to your loved ones or doing office meetings, then we need to thank Nasser Ahmed for it. Nasser Ahmed is a Muslim American professor in New Mexico. It is his algorithm that enables us to do live video chat through Zoom, Google Meets, Cisco, or any other systems. He devoted years of researching and perfecting his algorithm. He particularly worked on the irreversible compression algorithm. Due to that, we are able to reduce the data size of large files and upload them. But wait, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a problem-solving mechanism with a set of rules, particularly by a computer. This program you are watching right now, or that TikTok you have, or this picture that you are seeing on your screens, you are able to see it because of algorithms. Yes, algorithms. Algorithms have been used for almost 1200 years. Algorithm is actually a Latinized last name of Al Khwarizmi. The full name of this great Muslim scholar is Muhammad bin Musa Khwarezmi. He was born in 700 AD in Khwarezm, in Turkestan area around the current Uzbekistan. But he became the leading scholar of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. The House of Wisdom, or as Muslims call it, Beitul Hikmah, was a powerhouse of knowledge and sciences in the golden era of Islamic civilization. This is where Al Khwarizmi, a mathematician, astronomer, and geographer, invented the algorithms in 825 CE. Among the Europeans, the phrase Dixit Algorizmi, or Thus Spoke Al Khwarizmi, became an arguing point in mathematical disagreements to send the message that any words written by Al Khwarizmi are final true and must be followed, not argued against. He was a great scholar. Algebra comes from his book, Kitab al-Jabr wal-Muqabbala. It is considered to be the first book on algebra. Algorithms define our lives today. 1200 years after al-Khwarizmi, another Muslim, 11,825 miles away from Baghdad used algorithms to connect you and us. Nasser Ahmed was the first to conceive the discrete cosine transform DCT, which is a lossy compression of algorithm. The DCT is widely used for digital image compression. The image and video compression properties of the DCT is why you can see this video report on your screens today. Thank you, Professor Nasser Ahmed, and of course, thank you, Muhammad bin Musa Khwarizmi. This is Salah Farooq from Muslim News.